All right, here's your out-of-the-box thought for the day. We know that putting grips have evolved a lot over the years, and we're starting to see some of the unconventional types come together in different combinations. Will Zalatoris and Webb Simpson do the arm lock, so pretend this is an arm lock putter, right, with the claw grip. So two unconventional methods, the arm lock method and the claw grip method. Now, would it make sense to even pile on more unconventional methods? Let's think about this. So part of the reason why the claw grip, or the cross-handed grip, and the claw grip work so well, and the arm lock grip, is that that lead arm is what's kind of controlling the putting grip. So you have, you're not pushing, you're pulling. And in many sports and a lot of athletic maneuvers, a pulling method is much more accurate than a pushing method. So what if we took the arm lock claw that Zalatoris and Simpson do, and let's go one more. What if we went the arm lock cross grip? So just the arm lock, but with a claw cross-handed. That's one more. That would make sense. That makes a lot of sense. That could work. What if we go even once more? So we've, got, we've gone to all this effort to put the left arm in control, and basically disable the right arm in the putting grip. But most of these players are right-handed, dominant right-handed. So why are they putting in such a way that their left arm, their non-dominant arm, is the one controlling the putt? Wouldn't it make sense if they were putting what we call left-handed, right? So probably the most unconventional putting grip you could get would be an opposite-handed arm lock cross-claw grip. This makes a lot of sense because you take the left arm out of it, your non-dominant arm, the right arm is in control, you have it braced against your arm so that you don't have any movement, it's really just kind of an appendage to the rest of your arm, and you make this nice smooth stroke. The, arms are, the shoulders are squared because you're in a cross-handed position. Putting grip of the future, folks, putting grip of the future.